Cyclospora is a parasite. It is found in the environment and in water systems. It can be found in food. It's a fecal uh, uh, type of parasite uh, associated with the feces. Um, in terms of in, in endemic, it's found in tropical and subtropical areas. And uh, in the United States, we see outbreaks periodically, mostly with water or food contamination. Recently, there's been reports of a cyclospora outbreak here in Texas. Uh, there's been 68 cases identified so far. The etiology or the source of the infection is not yet known, so uh, definitely the health department is investigating these cases and trying to figure out where the common source is. If a person has been exposed to cyclospora, usually within 2 to 14 days after exposure, they will develop a diarrheal illness. And it's usually a watery diarrhea. It can be accompanied with uh, nausea, abdominal bloating and cramping, uh, fatigue. Some patients will even have a low-grade fever and some vomiting. So most people with normal immune systems will resolve the infection on their own without any treatment. Um, some patients will have recurrent uh, episodes of the diarrheal illness, uh, you know, a few times. But if you are immunocompromised, uh, those are the patients that tend to get into trouble with a longer course of diarrhea that just doesn't go away. Uh, typically, uh, even in a normal immune system person, the diarrhea can last anywhere from a few weeks to even a few months. But if you're immunocompromised, it can be more severe. So most of the time, if you're exposed to you know, a contaminated food or you get food poisoning, most of the time, diarrhea resolves within a few days, two, three days, maybe five days at the most. Uh, in most infections. But cyclospora, as I mentioned, can last for several weeks to even months. And so if it doesn't resolve within a few days, that's when I would recommend that you see a primary care doctor and tell them about your symptoms and have your stools tested. Cyclospora, generally speaking, is uh, pretty difficult to treat. In general, most of them are self-limited and resolve on their own and don't require treatment. But if treatment is required, Bactrim is usually the treatment of choice, which is an antibiotic. Mm -hmm.